Fucking dick. Green. Buzz! Sorry, sorry. Fuck off. It's green now. Buzz, you was like from there. Right, Come put your hand over this side, yeah? Come put your fucking hands in here, yeah? Right, kid, if you can make one fight in, in history at yeah. any weight class, like a dream matchup, who would it be? It would be. That's a good question. Me against Nassim Hamed. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, but what about one not involving yourself? Alright, it would be... Naz against Barry Mugan. Because I'd want him to kick the shit out of him. <laughs> 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 okay, um, Liam. What about you? Same question. Uh, Don't say Naz and Barry. Not, not going back too far, but I think uh, we were talking about earlier. I would love to have seen Carl Zaghi v Froch. Mm. That would be. A good it would fight. be a very good fight. Who are you picking in that? Uh, difficult. I have to go with my man Joe, wouldn't I? But I'm gonna say Froch. Uh, that wouldn't surprise me. I, I think Joe's Joe's a lot better. Technically, a lot better boxer, but Froch is hard, gritty. I'm, I'm saying this right now. Carl Froch is in the top five of the best fighters out of the UK ever in history. Naz Lennox Lewis, who's number Nas, three? Naz Lennox Lewis, Joe Kawasaki, Carl Froch, and I'll put Tyson Fury. Tyson in Fury there. at five. Yeah. Agree with that, Lee? Yeah, I wouldn't really be able to disagree. Mm -hmm. Then what about Lloyd Hunnigan? Is that the pimp looking guy? Yeah. He beat, he beat. You always have to put him in, don't you? Because he beat, yeah. he beat Don Curry. Yeah. He was like at the time, like pound for pound. Like the Floyd Mayweather at the time. What, well, Ricky Hatton could be in that debate? I yeah, yeah, know. you could put Ricky Hatton. Yeah, he'd have there. to be, wouldn't he, really? He's definitely in top 10, isn't he? Ricky Hatton, you can't. Who doesn't know who Ricky Hatton is? R Ricky Hatton. Wouldn't, wouldn't you say Ricky Hatton was above Tyson Fury at the moment? It's either Achie achievements wise. <coughs> the win against Costa Zoo or the win against Klitschko. You're basically I know, that. That's the only thing. You, that's that's I know, that's a huge, huge win. Ricky has been in bigger fights, but he's been beaten more times than not. Yeah. I think even Rick Ricky himself would no. say probably Fury. Yeah, Ricky Ant <coughs> is the most popular fight of all time from the UK I'd say. Definitely, not even a question. Him and Naz between them two. Hmm. What do you make of all this talk about Conor McGregor coming back to boxing? Mm. Fighting Pacquiao. Really? Well, that's Pacquiao what they're saying, aren't they? Pacquiao would eat him up and spit him out. Yeah, Pacquiao would do I a better job of him than, yeah, uh, than Mayweather than would because he hasn't got, he's got a different style, hasn't he? Yeah. Mayweather would eat him up and spit, sorry, Pacquiao would eat him up and spit him out. Do you think he just takes him out one or two rounds, yeah? I think no more than six. Oh, okay. Well, McGregor's still going six then. Yeah, but it's, he's it's, tough, isn't he? He's it's tough, isn't he? He knows what he's doing, he's fight. He's, he's boxed all his, well, fought all his life, won't he? Mm. It might even be earlier. It just depends, innit? <coughs> Tell you what, though, his popularity, like, it's like on a Hatton level, if not more, Ooh. maybe. Conor McGregor. Conor McGregor's massive, innit? He is a superstar. He is a fucking superstar, for real. Who else is the who's been on his level? I don't think there's... There's never been... I know this might sound a, a bit out of terms, but, like, he's good-looking, he's white, and he can talk, and he can fight. I don't think... I've always thought, like, you always see, like, Black fighters doing that. You never seen a, a white fighter who could talk like him. Yeah. With that brash and that kind of no one. Swag man. Who, who's who's had that? I know Rick Yatton was. Liam Williams. Rick Yatton wasn't wasn't a bad. Rick Yatton was a very good talker. Funny fucker. Yeah, I can chat shit. I can fight, but I'm got the looks of it. Ah, you're being so nice. I'm missing yeah. something. Like, yeah, you need Rick you need a bit of even garbage in you. <laughs> Rick Yatton did like Rick Yatton was a sharp. He was sharp, weren't he? You know when you watched. The interview, the the build up with him and Floyd Mayweather. Oh, that was amazing. That. that Barry, do you remember when he uh, was back in car and he had a little bit of a two and throw with Kel? Yeah, he did. Yeah. You know that. Oh, uh, years ago. Fury, yeah. From Manchester, aren't they? From that way. Yeah, but they, they, him and Khan are mates, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. <coughs> he used to train in his gym because um, I went to his gym, uh, to Khan's gym, sparring with uh, Liam Smith and Halsey Burton years back, and. Um, they were in that gym. I remember Fury was there training. He sparred with uh, Nathan Cleverly. I don't know. I don't know why. He, yeah, he, he didn't was... want to spar with Cleverly, but Cleverly asked to spar with him. Yeah. Why? I don't know because. With who? With Fury. Yeah. 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 Like. That's Fury, random. Fury does. Fury spars with to like be, lighter people who are faster. To be You're honest, never gonna see. Being disrespectful to, to Nathan, he fucking. 
it was embarrassing. He was fucking on his hands behind yeah, yeah, yeah. hands behind his back on the ropes singing. Do you remember <laughs> Yeah yeah, do you remember that song um I think it was yeah, Sean, Kingston. Sean Kingston something. Beautiful <laughs> girls, do you remember that song? Yeah. Beautiful girls, <laughs> they only want it. <laughs> Yeah? yeah, you singing that song with Zanzibar? No way. Too. And I just turn away and I was thinking, fuck me, like this is, this is not good, like. I see him sparring a, a few months back. I tell you, we were sparring. That guy who just boxed, um, oh, Dillian White. Who Dillian White just boxed? Rebus. Oh, yeah, yeah, the big fella. What, watch. Oh, Marius, Marius Wack. Wack, sorry, in Saudi he fought. And him, yeah. I swear to God, he had his hands behind his back, and he was there in the corner. Slipping, sliding, and everything. The guy after two rounds, they know what to do. Mm. Absolutely battered them. We hear these stories about Tyson Fury all the time that he embarrasses people in sparring. Like, obviously, yeah, you've just, seen it. So yeah, the only person who I've seen spar better than that there's only one guy. It was Floyd. I watched Floyd spar in, in, in Mayweather gym, and I see this guy threw a, like a, a four shot combination, and he slipped, slipped, rolled, rolled, and put him in the arm. I've never seen anybody slip full shot like you know what I mean. Yeah. Never any. Tyson Fury is good at it, but I never see anything like that before. Ever. Oh, yeah, fucking bush. man, isn't he? Yeah. Fucking man. Get out of the fucking car, you lost. <laughs> <laughs>